I look very um, sort of 60s. You do. We've inspired. actually started. Oh, okay. don't you think I look sort of 60s inspired today, Billy? You look awesome. Well, thank you. But no, you're in the style yeah. game. You really have to look awesome. You can't talk fashion and look bad. I know. Well, that's a big thing. Yeah. I am a fashion liability to Access Hollywood, so that's why I want to I want to talk to you about last night. You, you, we'll start with the, the color white. Yes, big. color white, very big. It was the color of the evening for sure, and it really popped on the red carpet. I mean, Catherine Heigl and really set the tone. Well, you know what? Because I always like to be a little bit different, a little bit ahead of the curve. As a fashion expert... To Next be, year it's red, and that's why you were wearing red. Let me tell you, <laughs> being part of the trend as it's happening is not cool enough for a fashion expert. It's like expert. being in USA Today Life section. Exactly. As soon as you're there, it's over. It's over. Right. Right. Now, I will say, Billy, I do want to compliment you on the fact that not only did your tux fit you so well, but the tie ring... Clearly, very popular. The ladies went bonkers over my little diamond tie ring. It's like a big wedding ring around the top of the tie net, right? It was amazing. They went yeah. crazy yeah. for it. Yeah, well, you know what? I like that. I like that you were attracting that kind of attention to a men's accessory because it's so rare that that happens. Yeah, I uh, thank you. Uh, Marsha Cross's earrings uh, has a little bit of... I love Marsha, and she's beautiful, but I, I thought the earrings were very clunky, and they didn't match the color of the dress. You know what, Billy? For somebody who says you are a fashion liability, you're absolutely spot on. Thank now, you. Now, I will say that the accessory should always match the stature of the woman, and because she's so tall and so beautiful and so stunning, mm -hmm. she could pull off a big earring like that. With the dress, however, it, it conflicted with the, the color lightness. The color might have been off. Well, it was, also it was nice with her hair and everything, that, but the dress might have been something else. Exactly. If it had been a, a deep, deeper dark color. blue, how about a dark blue? It would have been gorgeous and spectacular. Now, I should be a stylist. No, well, I, that's going a little far, maybe. Maybe. Well, but I am. You did notice my footwear. I do wear Tempur-Pedic slippers wherever I go. You know what? That's why they make pillows. <laughs> you should be sleeping on these. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Not you should be sleeping on those, on not walking in them. And, you know, Billy, you may say that you're a fashion liability, but you are a man about town. You have a reputation to uphold. I mean, you are a representative of NBC Universal, not just Access Hollywood. And therefore, a good shoe with an extended toe box is essential, even for a dinner out in jeans. Stacy, I love you. Folks, you see London. On your own time, you'll see France. And on tonight's Access Hollywood, you'll see everyone's underpants. Thank you for watching. Woo!